Hello everyone, this is my second vlog and welcome to Before we get started to the video, guys have you ever seen this picture in the internet? That's cool right? So guys, if you are interested to make those kind of artworks but you don't know what are the procedures to do those, you, ha you don't have the software the professionals are doing now, so today is the day because today I'm going to show you and I'm going to teach you how to make those kind of artworks, the traditional X digital art using your smartphones only. But first, what is traditional and digital arts? So basically, traditional arts are the artworks made by the men or the artists themselves using the parts of their body or the hands specifically with the help of the tools, physical tools that they are using to make their artworks. As time goes by, traditional artwork evolves and the evolved form of traditional art is digital. Digital artworks are the platforms or ways to make your artwork using the technology or the digital gadgets that we have now. Many artists nowadays are using the both platforms to do an astonishing artwork. The example of those are the pictures that I've showed you earlier. So let's go right into it. Para sa mga materials na ginamit ko rito, gumamit ako ng sign pen na panda at ng ordinaryong lapis lang. So as you can see guys, nilalagyan ko na lang ng outline yung mga nauna ko nang na-drawing kasi para hindi na masyadong tumagal tong video na to. So I suggest kapag ka gumagawa kayo ng digital traditional art, dapat makakapal yung mga strokes ng ball pen nyo, kagaya nung ginagawa ko. So as you can see, dito sa may mata, sobrang kinakapalan ko siya para pagka pinituran nyo siya, mas may emphasize siya dun sa photo. Hindi di siya matatakpan nung effects na gagawin natin mamaya na growing effect. Just continue drawing. Again, inuulit ko, dapat makakapal yung outlines, makakapal yung mga strokes ng sign pen nyo or ng ball pen, kahit anong gamit nyo. Para sa emphasis. After nyo matapos yung traditional art nyo, make sure na yung picture nyo malinaw. After nyo picturean yung traditional art nyo, punta tayo sa Autodesk Sketchbook app. Click nyo siya, i-open nyo. And para ma-import natin yung image, pindutin nyo yung ruler na may parang compass. Hindi ko sure yun, pero yun yung pipindutin nyo para ma-import natin. Import image. Kunin nyo yung picture ng traditional artwork nyo. And kung mapapansin nyo, hindi magkaparehas yung size ng picture natin at saka ng canvas. Pwede natin siyang i-edit mamaya. Ikakrap lang natin siya. Hayaan nyo muna siya. After nyan, meron kayo makikita ang bilog dun sa baba. Pag pinindit nyo siya, makikita nyo yung mga tools. Pindutin nyo yung pen. Makikita nyo dyan yung choices of brushes nyo. When it comes to glowing effect, I prefer tong mga nasa designer na mga brushes. Especially itong airbrush tapered. So, ang gagawin muna natin, i-darken muna natin yung picture ng ano natin, traditional art natin. 
then i-adjust lang natin yung opacity at saka yung size. So para mas mabilis yung size, lakihan na natin agad. Kasi buong picture yung lalagyan natin ng medyo ida-darken natin. So gawin na natin siyang 50. Then yung opacity 20. As I've said earlier, di ba? Gusto ko yung mga nasa designer na mga brushes. So meaning to say, marami pang mga brushes na option. Actually, maraming marami pa talaga siya. Magagamit nyo lahat yan. Pwede nyo gamitin freely sa Autodesk Sketchbook. And explain ko na rin kung anong purpose ng size at opacity. So basically, yung size, ibig sabihin niya yung sukat. And yung opacity naman, ito yung kapal or yung nipis ng isang brush na ginamit mo. So X mo lang para bumalik ka dun sa pinaka-picture ng traditional art mo. Then simulan mo nang mag-swipe. Huwag kayong masyadong mag-panic o huwag kayong masyadong kabahan kung masyadong naging dark yung picture ng traditional art niya. Kasi ba diba, mas may emphasize yung glowing effect kapag ka mas dark. Pero not too much. Baka naman kasi hindi na makita yung mga picture niya. Okay guys, reminder, kapag kami may i-edit kayo or may babaguhin kayo dun sa mismo yung na-edit nyo, you have to make sure na sa panibagong layer kayo mag adjust This is very important na dapat yung tandaan. Kasi kapag ka hindi kayo gumamit ng mga layers kada may i-edit kayo, lahat ng mga in-edit nyo may ma-affect na yun. Okay, what we are going to do now, mag-glowing effect na tayo kasi na-darken na natin yung pinaka-traditional art natin. And make sure na nasa ibang layer kayo. Pindutin nyo uli yung same button. Then pindutin nyo yung color, mamili kayo. And I prefer kapag ka gumagawa ng glowing effect, itong nasa part ng mga color palette na to. Especially yung Nile Blue. However, yung Nile Blue lang yung magiging fundamental color natin. I-adjust pa natin siya dun sa mas light para mas mag-glow talaga siya. Okay guys, I'm not saying na this is the standard color. So, depende siya sa preference nyo. Pero ako kasi ito yung preference ko kasi feeling ko ito yung pinaka nag-glow talaga. Pero again, depende naman sa inyo yun. Ito na. Since matamu na yung uunahin natin lagyan ng glowing effect, we have to make sure na babaguhin natin yung size nung ating pen. Dapat mas manipis. So okay na ata siya dito sa 9.4 at yung opacity 80. Check natin. Baka mag-work na to. I-adjust nyo na lang siya guys. Ayan. Ayan okay na. So lagay pa natin sa isa pa. So example dito manggagaling yung light. So expect natin merong mga light sa spot na to. Diyan sa show.
after nyo i-render yung ginawa nyo, kapag ka-satisfied na kayo, pwede nyo na siya actually i-save. Pakisave na lang siya. Save current sketch. Then saving na siya. I-check nyo na lang siya dun sa gallery nyo, then i-crop nyo na yung sobra sa canvas. Then i-save nyo na ulit siya. Yan, okay na. Meron na kayong digital traditional art. Yay! So for this video, binilisan ko lang talaga yung paggawa dito. Kaya makikita nyo yung details, hindi pa ganun ka ano, kaganda. Pero kung pagtotoo na nyo siya ng pansin ng effort at ng time, mas mapapaganda nyo pa yung output na magagawa nyo. That's it for our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you've learned something from this tutorial. And if you have suggestions, if you have thoughts, let me know in the comment section down below. And please, if you're too kind to consider subscribing in this channel, please subscribe because it will help my channel to grow more and to grow fast. And please, share this video to your friends who love art. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! See you on my next video.